Huzur, in our Jalsa, um, people come from different uh, social and cultural background uh, every year. And uh, they come with uh, different type of uh, expectations uh, that uh, I'll be treated like this or I'll be behaved uh, in this manner. But sometimes uh, things go against their expectations. Uh, it happened even this year I saw myself. The question is uh, how Jamaat, uh, Jamaat is expanding very rapidly. In future such incidents will happen more. So how Jamaat will uh, tackle this sort of... Uh, you should particularize the incident again please. Uh, one incident is uh, for example this year um, one member came from one of the North African country. Uh, he uh, in his own car so he thought that um, when I'll, I'll reach there, I'll get uh, good accommodation, I'll be treated like this and that. But uh, um, at the prelim, primarily, he couldn't see any such thing because of everybody's busy. So at a stage, he was uh, quite sorry and uh, almost uh, ready to leave. So he was uh, appeased or calmed later, that, uh, then everything became okay by some missionaries uh, who came from but our campus. he did not inform the Jamaat beforehand? Yeah, uh, he faxed to somebody, but uh, unfortunately there was a communication gap. These mishaps uh, happen. Yeah. And the more the Jamaat grows in number, yeah. such mishaps are unfortunate, they happen. They even happen at the time of the Muslim of the So some people in India, decided to leave Qadiyan without even seeing the Simha of Islam. So, when the Jamaat was so small, the incidents happened. How can we expect them not to happen now? But we shall try to minimize them and minimize the ill effect.